Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to show you uh, how to remove system apps from Samsung phones and any other Android phones. Before we start, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment down below if you have any question or any other ideas. Um, this uh, method specifically today is going to work uh, only on Linux. I will go over uh, how to do things on Windows uh, and Mac uh, briefly. But let me break down the process for you uh, step by step and what we're going to do in this video. Before we do that, please proceed with caution because uh, you might uh, remove an app that is important to the system. Uh, it could ruin your phone. I mean, it's not going to uh, kill your phone. It's just probably going to break your phone or, you know, it doesn't boot anymore. So please remove the apps that you know that are obvious uh, and they're, they're safe. And if you don't know what the app is, don't touch it. Um, so the procedure goes li like this way. First thing you want to do is you enable developer options on your phone and then you enable, you enable USB debugging on your phone as well from the developer options. The 3 and 4 apply only for uh, Windows and Mac because you don't need to do those on Linux. Uh, first one is uh, install ADB tools um, and I'm going to leave you a link in the comment section or in the description below. Uh, for a website that actually shows you how to install ADB tools for uh, Mac and Windows and then also uh, you will need to install the USB drivers for Mac and Windows and also I will leave you a link there. On Linux uh, you don't really need to install a lot of things. Uh, a lot of distros include the Android ADBs and uh, my distro right here Manjaro actually it comes included in it and uh, if you don't have it on your distro all you have to do is install android dash tools on any ubuntu or debian based distros literally uh, sudo apt install android dash tools hit enter you're good to go uh, for manjaro it came installed pre-installed uh with the distro see right here um for other distros please look it up on google how to install android tools on so and so distro that's it after that uh, this one right here, uh, the fifth uh, one is download an APK list. Uh, there's an app on your phone that's called AP, APK Info, AP, APK List. There's a bunch of those apps. Uh, we will need that to know the package names. And then you're going to open the terminal and type a couple of commands uh, to remove some uh, apps that you don't like. And then the last step is if you accidentally or mistakenly removed an app that you didn't want to remove, I, I can show you how to actually reinstall it. Uh, through this method so let's get started let's go with the first step uh, first one is to enable the developer options on your phone and you do that by going to settings and scroll all the way down where it shows about phone let me get my s pen to show you the cursor right here about phone and then you search for software information you click it and then you find build number and you click it a bunch of times until it tells you right here you now you become a developer don't be too happy you're not a developer <laughs> just kidding um, and then now when you back up you will find this option here you click it and then you find USB debugging you have to make sure to, uh, that this is on once you turn it on Oh, by the way, you have to connect your phone to the computer, by the way. You know, you can't just just make sure your phone connects to the computer. And then you turn this on. And when you do that, a window will pop here that asks you to allow the computer to do things. You just hit allow and you go from there. Second one, which uh, we already went over this, install ADB. Like I said, I'm going to link you to uh, the article right here uh, for the third uh, point and a fourth ones uh, just follow these two articles this one right here will help you install the USB drivers for Samsung phones uh, Google pixel phones other phones and it shows you right here you see this one for Windows this one's for Mac just follow this article and you should be fine and uh, the other one is ADB tools this one will show you how to install ADB tools on Windows and Mac it's pretty easy. Just go by the steps one by one and you should be fine. I promise. And then now download APK. So you go to your app uh, play store and then you search for APK info. 
and then this is the app right here that I use. It doesn't have to be this one. There's a lot of apps, but I just, you know, randomly chose this one and it works for me. Uh, you just click here, install, you're done. You, it's not gonna look interesting when you open it, but you will know why we'll, we will need this app. Um, so let's say we wanna uh, remove a YouTube app. Uh, you all know that YouTube comes pre-installed with uh, all Android phones. So if I search for YouTube, it's right here. I can disable it from my uh, from my phone, but I cannot uninstall it. With this method today, I'll show you how to actually remove it. So after you've done all of those things, now you go to your terminal or your CMD or PowerShell or terminal on Mac, and you type in ADB. Oh, let me actually let me zoom in. You type in ADB devices. And it should list your device right here and then after that you type in adb shell and done and now we go to this one right here uh, you know number eight you type in this one i'm going to copy and paste it here we go so you type in pm uninstall dash k dash dash user zero and then after that the package name uh, the k is there if you wanted to remove the app but keep its data just in case you want to reinstall it again uh, that's up to you uh, user zero the zero is very important because this applies to the current user which is you because when we do this uh, this procedure it doesn't remove the apps completely from the whole phone it removes it, it removes it only from the current user which is you so if you create another profile on that phone you will find those apps again now after that when you type this you go to that apk info app that we just downloaded and you go to right here where it says all apps because you're trying to uninstall all apps including system apps and you hit your search for youtube and you found youtube uh, we what we need from this is the package name which is com.google.android.youtube so after pm uninstall uh, dash k dash dash user zero you leave a space and you type in com.google.android YouTube and you hit enter and success now if we go back to our phone and go back to settings and then try to find YouTube YouTube and it's gone it's not here let's say uh, you made a mistake and you removed YouTube and hey I want to use it again how do I uh, you know reinstall it some people will tell you, oh, you can't reinstall it. Now you have to factory set your phone, blah, blah, blah. No, it's not true. Uh, as long as you you didn't uh, remove an app that is essential for the phone to function and the phone is functional, trust me, you're going to be just fine. So all you have to do is same thing. Uh, you, you, should be, you should be able to remember the app name or you find it right here. Let's say I want to reinstall YouTube again. All you have to do is type in this command. Paste it here, leave a space, and then type in the same one, com.google.android.youtube. And there you go. And now if I go back to my settings, I should be able to find the YouTube app. Now I'm going to type in YouTube. And well, you know, there's your YouTube app. That's it. Literally, that's it. Uh, it should be very fairly easy. Uh, could be done by any of you guys. I'm sorry again. I couldn't do it for Windows. I really don't have a Windows machine uh, or a Mac. Uh, like I said, you can follow those uh, links and in, in I'm going to leave in the description. It's fairly easy to do the thing uh, to installing the ADBs. The only difference between Mac, Windows and Linux is these, you know, Two steps: install ADB and install DSB drivers. The rest of the th uh, the process is exactly exactly the same. Uh, if you have a question, you let me know. It's pretty easy. If you have uh, 
any ideas, please make sure to let me uh, know down below in the comment section. Uh, otherwise, uh, thank you so much for watching and make sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Thank you.